Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to this week's episode of All About Books. If you missed my interview with author Heather Babcock, I will put a link down below in the description box so you can check, check it out. And there will also be a link at this end of this video. But for right now, Heather will be reading from her novel, Filthy Sugar, which is an absolutely delicious read. Now, Heather, before you start reading, can you just let us give us a little bit of background about why you've chosen this particular section to read? Okay, uh, yes, this is actually, I'm going to read the first chapter. And mm -hmm. this chapter, I wor worked on it for years. This one I kept rewriting and revising. And um, one night I came home, I was working um, a night shift and I, I came home and I actually had to start work again at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And I didn't <laughs> wink that night because I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about this first chapter and I, I was, well, what am I going to do? The first chapter is one of the most important parts of the book. That's where you grab the reader. And I was so worried that, um, that it just wasn't right. So I spent the entire night, re well, some, I suddenly had an inspiration about furs and I just started writing and writing. And when I was done, I reread it on the subway ride to work. And I was like, this is it, this is it. So I think I'm going to read this chapter that I probably worked harder on than any other. <laughs> I love it because it was it. <laughs> it, it I'm really happy with it now. <laughs> But it took it took it took years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> In the world behind the market, death is always close, but life is stubborn. Birds mistaking gold stars for the sky fly into closed windows their bodies sustenance for maggots and clandestine cats in the garden of faded flappers where young men trample through tobacco tulips and lipstick lilies. Mm. Babies are born and where more babies are born. Daddy didn't trust the automobile. So when the other milkmen traded in their horses for trucks, Daddy doggedly held on to his feet a gentle white and gray mare named Sadie. You can't trust anything that doesn't need you, Daddy explained to me one day as he filled Sadie's feed bag with oats. This girl needs me as much as I need her. Now, what mess of steel and rubber is gonna beat that? That was as most as he ever said to me. Daddy wasn't much of a talker, but he was friendly enough and well-liked in the world behind the market. His only enemies were the milk snatchers, a group of young boys with hard, hungry faces and eyes like broken beer bottles, sharp and empty. Old one-eyed Joe, they taunt my daddy, one or two of them jumping in front of Sadie and distracting both driver and horse while the others would steal as many jugs of milk as their scrawny pink arms could carry. My daddy's name was Albert, not Joe. It was true though, that he only had one eye. On a colorless November day, the kind of cool muffled day where the world feels as placid and dreamy as a silent film without organ music, daddy spotted one of the milk snatchers, uncharacteristically alone, pulling a wagon full of milk jugs in the direction of Mr. Tootsie's grocery store. Hey, you, Daddy shortened his reins, calmly bringing Sadie into a trot alongside the boy. How much Mr. Tootsie paying you for my milk? The boy, startled, broke into a run as my daddy tapped Sadie lightly on her haunches and charged after him. Come back here, you mug. He cried, his buggy whip raised in his tightly clenched fist. You little dime store hoodlum. The kid turned around and threw one of the milk jugs in daddy's direction, striking the alabaster forehead of the market queen who hit back in an explosion of milk and diamonds. 
Daddy was livid. It was one thing to snatch milk for food or profit, but quite another to so deliberately and maliciously waste it. Red-faced and furious, he dismounted Sadie and ran out into the road in pursuit of the quickly vanishing boy. The buggy whip jumped from his hand, cracking the cruelly reticent air as a Cadillac V16 Roadster swerved out from behind Tootsie's grocery and flew through my daddy's body like a mad bird on a blind night. Thank you. Thank you. So there is a little taste of filthy sugar. Thank you so much, Heather, for coming on the program. And again, I'll put links down below so everyone can learn more about Heather or also purchase a copy of her incredible book, Filthy Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Crystal. It was a pleasure. Pleasure. So see everybody next week.